Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Oh my god. Okay guys, I think I'm set up here. So here I have some spicy rice cake and some cheese corn dogs in LA, my favorite places to go. And the people who actually um, make these, che these cheese corn dogs a family, they are such sweethearts. Every time I go there, they always say hi to me. Um, I wanna give a shout out to Gabriel actually. He um, served me today, he was at Cash. But yeah, today was just so awesome. I saw some chicken wings. It's been a really good day in LA. Anyways, let's get eating. I'm super hungry. Okay, I think I'm gonna go first thing for corn dog. Ooh, yeah. And I've never had the opportunity to dip a corn dog in my topoki before, so we're gonna do that today. Ooh. Oh. It's falling. No, 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 no. Okay, now that the car's off, it's not moving, so. Bit's better. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay, I dipped it in. Oh! I'm trying not to get it on me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, now let's go in for this. The last couple days has actually been pretty cool in LA, but today, oh my God, it's a pretty warm day today. I'm kind of regretting this sweater right now. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Fish cake. So I actually ordered the spicy rice cake with more um, fish cake in it. Mm. 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 
dipping this into here is by far the best thing ever. <laughs> it's so good. I've seen a lot of people dip their crane coin dog into tteokbokki, and honestly, I'm not disappointed. I haven't had Canada Dry in so long. It is by far one of my favorite pops for sure. Canada Dry ginger ale. Definitely my favorite. I've been drinking a lot of Coke lately, actually. I need to buy a case from Costco. So in here we have some spicy cabbage, fish cake, rice cake, onion. I've been to a few places for topoki and honestly, yup duck. Like if you guys watched my Korean uh, food tour video, the restaurant I went to in Canada, they have them all over. They make really bomb topogi. Oh, there's also cheese in here, as you can see. Big piece of cheese. Oh my god. It's a little bit too much, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Oh! Lord, Lord. Mmm. I 
I've mentioned this before, but topoki has really become a comfort food for me. With this topoki, I feel like they, they definitely add more than just gojujang, the red pepper paste, and the red pepper flakes. Because if you just add those two at home together, gojujang is so pungent. It doesn't give off the umami flavor that's in this bowl here. Even in Korea, a lot of the places I went to, they just didn't master the umami flavor of the gojujang, the topoki sauce. But this place really does a good, good job. A ton of places in Korea that you go to, nine times out of ten will be excellent but i went to a couple places that were really just not good um just like anywhere in the world you're always going to go somewhere where it's just not that great you know compared to other places even if they're no if, even if that's like known as their dish it's still going to happen you know we're all human none of us are always going to make things the same way so but it's just the umami flavor that a lot of people who make this in restaurants just it's just so great i'm convinced i think they put some type of like pork fat or some type of fat in it i'm not, not entirely sure what what kind i'm most positive because i've made this at home it's not as good it's decent but it's not as good i'm convinced that they have to be putting like some type of like pork fat or but yeah they definitely put a dash in here as well and some type of fat i don't know if it's vegetable fat i don't know if it's animal fat i'm gonna have to go to a korean grocery store and figure out which fats they have for sale that they make a lot of the time the grocery store will make it so i'll try to figure out if they sell any of fats if they don't make it which ones besides like a shortening that they sell because a lot of the time if you ask for like a solidified fat they'll bring you to the shortening section for like cake and stuff like that pastry puff pastry um but yeah i just i really want to nail this dish because it's so delicious i love it I've nailed um, the spicy noodle soup. I'm gonna be showing you guys a recipe for it, the seafood spicy noodle soup, which is jum, jum pang, jum pang. I'm butchering that, I know I am. But I know a terrific recipe that hasn't been shown on the internet before. And when I get home to Toronto, I'm gonna show you guys because it's really good. And you know, I've been eating a lot of instant seafood, jum pang. I haven't ordered an actual one, actual one from a Korean market. I should do a video on that as well. But I'm going to show you guys a really, really dope recipe. Oh my god, it's so good. But yeah, let's get back in the food.
a skid row for the first time and it was scary to say the least that there is that many homeless people in California. Um, and as you guys know, like my mother struggles with homelessness and mental health issues. And even though like there's people on the internet that say really gross things about not really knowing anything about my relationship with my mother, a lot of you guys, I love you because you guys actually watch my videos and you know what the relationship is. You know that I try to help her. Or you know that I'm in a tough situation to help her. And it just some people post the grossest things they say about my mother and me. And it's just like, it's so like, you can just tell these people really don't know anything about the situation. They really have no compassion or really any moral with the things that they say. Super gross. But anyways, that's not my point. My point is that I really want to do, I, I want to give back to the homeless shelter, woman homeless shelter in LA and in Canada. I think I'm going to do some merch. I want to do some merch. I'm going to release Whatever I release, I think the first 48 hours, I'm going to do 100% of the proceeds go to the woman's shelter. And then after that, I think I'm going to do always 15 to 20% of the proceeds will always go to the woman's homeless shelter. But yeah, anyways, guys, my Popeye's mouth one. I purchased like this really crappy holders off of Amazon. They were really crap. This, on the other hand, is really good. So if you see those on Amazon, I recommend it. Yeah, anyways, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're in LA, I definitely recommend going to that corn dog place. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yo, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. And until next time.